In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how AirPlay works on a Mac running the latest macOS Monterey. There are two main ways you can use AirPlay on a Mac. You can now share, present, or display content from one Mac to another, or a Mac to an iPad or iPhone. It works just like you think it would. If you're watching content on your iPad and you want to shoot it over to your Mac, you can do so by tapping the AirPlay icon and then selecting your Mac. You can also extend your Mac's display to an Apple TV or to your iPad using Sidecar, which has existed in the past. But one main difference this year with Monterey is the ability to extend your display to another Mac. This is kind of like a target display mode replacement that used to be a feature quite a few years ago, but not really, as it's worth noting that Apple will compress that signal quite a bit that's being sent over to another Mac, and so you could expect to see some latency. Still, if you're in a pinch, and let's just say you have another MacBook and you need to extend your display for some reason, or maybe you have a larger display like an iMac, and you want to extend your MacBook's display to your iMac, you can do so and have a quick dual monitor or a bigger monitor set up. Now, the list of compatible Macs is short, basically anything 2018 or later for MacBook Pro and Air, and 2019 or later for iMac and iMac Pro, as well as Mac Pro, and Mac Mini users will need to have a 2020 model. AirPlay also works as a speaker too. So if your Mac is connected to some great desktop speakers and you want to send audio over to another Mac, you can do so very easily. The cool part here is that you can now use a Mac for whole home audio too. So again, if you are listening to something on your Mac and you want to share that with home pods or other devices throughout your home, you'll have that option available. And that's it. AirPlay for your Mac is one of those features that a lot of people have been asking for, and now you can actually use AirPlay with virtually no limitations via macOS Monterey. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on this feature in the comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.